Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Sean here, back, uh, Sean the EV bloke, back with another video here. And uh, yeah, I just want to know, if, hope you guys have been having a great summer. I've been um, pretty busy in truth. Um, the car is doing really, really well. I've been getting the claim range um, from the car, so no issues there. Uh, the entertainment system's working really well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just been been holding up really well really been on a few trips in it and that kind of a thing um thanks for getting me over 400 subscribers um i'm on the road to 500 subscribers now and i want to change the format a bit when i get to 500 start doing a few more live streams and things like that so uh, we can discuss a lot more stuff on there so um but thanks for getting me to to 400 i really do appreciate that so um but yeah if you can point anyone to my videos um to help get us up to that 500 that'd be really brilliant because the sooner i can do that the more i can then start doing more live stream stuff and we can we can go in depth in things to do with this car but it may be or other vehicles and maybe we can look at some other new cars coming out and all this kind of thing and discuss all about that i don't know but just you know we'll, we'll come up with some ideas and of course if you've got any ideas for content um that you'd like to see on the channel then please do drop a comment down below or in the description or whatever and just let me know um what kind of things you'd like to see maybe about this car or other cars and we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go over it as you know i'm not a, a car journalist as such so i don't get access to uh, lots and lots of lots of cars i'm afraid unfortunately but we can do some reaction videos maybe that kind of thing um i'm looking at getting my studio set up at home uh where we where i can sort of do reaction videos and uh, we can look at some other bits and pieces and that kind of thing um just relating to around electric vehicles uh per se um but yeah so that's that's all that now this one is all going to be actually a slight reaction video we're well, not really a reaction video but just to look into a bit more in depth into the um uh, red Hot scenic um especially because it's a car i'm kind of interested in but two, um, we're actually thinking about maybe adding this to our family's set of cars. So it's got a bit of an interest that way in it. But it's just a very interesting car, the Renault Scenic. It charges a, a, a good bit faster than this. And the mileage is quite... I mean, I, I haven't seen any um, mileage videos yet. Um, so I need to sort of try and see if I can get some um, range videos being done because I'm just a bit dubious as to whether it gets the claimed range on it 379 miles um, on the big battery which is pretty decent i mean if, even if you knock off 50 miles of that due to losses and stuff i mean it's still going to be well over 300 which is which is pretty interesting really it's just an all-round good looking car it's got google system baked in i haven't heard of anything relating around issues with that like with the ex30 or the ex cars coming out even the ex90 which is due out uh, later this year the big boy uh, in the uh, volvo range that one's claiming to be to having still issues with the software so uh, i don't know how true that is but um but uh but yes yeah, so software issues all around there whereas the renault scenic i've not heard of anything or in fact all the renault cars seem to be really good on that side so that's interesting it's got a very interesting setup which we'll go over in the video i'm going to show in a minute uh where we do sort of like a in-depth slightly in-depth look at a little bit more at the car in case it's a car you're interested in um and um so we're taking from there so let's go over now to um have a look at that so let's just uh, do a crossover now into the into that section of the video right okay guys so um as spoke about earlier uh, here is the uh, Renault Scenic uh, E-Tech 2024, which is, of course, car of the year. So um, you can get a bit of a look at it here. This is just the kind of introductory video on their website, really, giving us a little bit of a look at it. Um, I mean, I like it. I like the design of it. I like the shape of it. Um, it's got a real cool look about it, you know? Um, and so yeah it's um on the top two trims you get 150 uh kilowatts of charging power it's got a claimed range as i said in said earlier 379 miles 
on the 87 kilowatt hour battery. There's a 60, um, 60 kilowatt hour battery and an 87 kilowatt hour battery. And the 87 kilowatt hour battery is where you get the, uh, the 379 miles, of course. Now, you're probably not going to get that exactly. Um, I think that's probably fairly, fairly well, well, just fairly, fairly true to the point. It probably won't get that. But, uh, you know, even if you're getting, say, 350, it's something. So we're just going to go in now and have a little look at the trims and stuff. So here's the charging, actually. So um, as you can see there, um, uh, let's make that down a little bit. Let's have a little look. It says here fast char charging with uh, DC fast charging. It's uh -huh. 150. I would say that the minimum standard nowadays should be 100. I mean, I think the 89 kilowatts we get on, on our Atto 3s is not enough. I mean, it's it's just too slow. I mean, even on fast rate, um, if you're on a fairly low battery, and obviously we're charging to 100% most of the time. I mean, we're looking at close on an hour with that, and 45 minutes maybe for you know, sort of a 20 to 80% kind of area. So there we are, so that's the Techno trim, which is the base base trim. And this one, I think, charges at around about 130 kilowatts. That's obviously a smaller battery, so you're, you're gonna get under the 300 mile claim range, uh, under 300 miles range on it. Um, and I think there's some interior differences and all that, but all of them come with a really funky I don't know if you've seen it on other videos. I don't know if anything you should see anything on here, but where you've got the drop-down um, armrest, which you can have laptop you know, laptops on and phones on uh, in landscape shape and cup holders with it. It's really cool. Um, so great for family driving this car. And I say we're thinking about getting one as an extra car for our family, so we might do that. And um, so I just thought I'd give a little bit of a you know. It looks like a really sound car. The Google system in it as well, the built-in Google systems really works well. So um, from what I can make out from, from reviews I've seen and some people have been using the car for a while. So it's all mapped out well. It'll map you to chargers and stuff like that, which is really cool. It's a nice looking car. I mean, there's no kind of getting around that. It is a nice looking car, it really is. So this is the Alpine version, I think it's called. Which is the next one up and as you can see on there I mean you've got um, 150 kilowatt charging speed you've got the 379 mile claimed range as a KS WLTP so you won't get that probably but you probably might get 310 320 let's say you know uh, sorry no this is the Alpine version so yeah um, range of five to six colors on the car and with some interior differences there's no leather in the car there is like a synthetic kind of leather if you look at it but it's uh, but yeah that's there but it's it's i mean you know it's just really really nicely kitted out inside and uh, inside now i'd like to get hold of one at one point um i have emailed the local renault dealer to me so at least if i can take it for a test drive it'd be quite nice so um that might happen um so I might be able to, I might be able to even do a, do a running it. And there's the Alpine, the top of the range. I think you get a better seat, better sound system. You've obviously got the panoramic sunroof on the top of the range. You've got the, the higher powered engine as well. So you've got the 80, 87, 87.5, I think it is, kilowatt hour um, battery with 150 kilowatt charging speed. Um, north to 16 in around about 37 40 minutes which is okay and like I say you know when you've got a, a much bigger battery and, a, and more range it's, 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 it's all the better you know how it's going to really do on that I don't know because I know the Renault Megane doesn't really do so well on range which is one of the downsides of I've heard from a few people who've got that but anyway that's just a quick video really just to sort of show you um, you know kind of what it's like really so I hope you enjoy this video and um, yeah so that's really a little look at the scenic all right guys so that's it then so that's it on the Renault scene I hope you enjoyed that um, 
don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you can help get us towards the 500 subs i'd really really appreciate i don't normally go on about subs on here it's just i'm getting a little bit closer to that where we can do sort of the more live stream stuff and um, there's more features that come available and, and when you got to 500 subscribers i'm very near on near my watch hours for if i had a thousand subscribers so thank you very much for supporting the videos um i actually come up on the first page of youtube now believe it or not uh not youtube on google for the entertainment system so it's had such a lot of views i mean it's up to near on ten thousand views now which is quite amazing for just a small time youtuber like myself and uh you know with no sort of um just an interesting car i guess i suppose that's that, that's one thing you can say about it but um not much interested about me really but anyway but uh, i do enjoy doing the videos and um like i say the more we quicker we can get there then the more do i can maybe invest in more equipment that way as well and i can start doing a bit more advertising you know doing a bit more um other stuff around the channel so to help it move along so yeah uh, but anyway thanks for the support you've already given me that's that in itself is amazing and uh, I shall catch you on the next one. So cheerio, catch you soon.